the energy of your name. Beloved one, I have felt your joy, albeit interspersed with doubts and questions from time to time. There has been a great level of energy you have been experiencing in recent months, a great expectancy. Perhaps you would say it is because of events in your world. Well, that is not wholly true. Perhaps you would say it is because of the people you encounter, and that is not wholly true. Perhaps you would say it is for the reason of that reason. The reason is because you are the energy of the Father, the child of the one creative source, and you call forth everything you experience. When you open yourself to expressing and feeling the unlimited energy of joy, then you see how pictured for you what you call the reasons for the joy, for the expectancy, for the subtle hint of more to come. And that is what I have come to address with you, the energy that you are, the creative expressing energy. You have heard it said that you are a great ray of light, and this is true. You are the energy of light experienced as love. But now we are going to talk about an aspect of energy in a different form. Many of you have been thinking in the past few months or even days of your time about your name. Many of you have been playing with the idea of changing your name. Many have been wondering what your name or names may have been in other incarnations. It is not by accident that you have been considering names and their related tones. Names are vibrational energy. Now, you may have come into this incarnation and have been given a name which you feel does not express your true nature. It may not express all your true nature, or you may feel that the sound thereof is not who you truly are. Or you may have a name which you feel very much identified with, which feels like it expresses your true nature and who you are. When I walked the earth some two thousand years ago in your time, my name was a very powerful name. It was Yeshua. In the Greek form, it has been known as Jesus. In your anglicized form, it comes out as Jeshua. But in the day and time recorded in your holy scriptures, my name was Yeshua, Y-S-H-W-A, expressing great energy expressing an aspect of totality in physical form. All of you are a great ray of light. All of you are giving yourself permission, at some level or another, to express who you are and to share this with others. The time is now upon this plane when you are feeling more and more freedom to express who you are. So I'd like you to take a moment right now to take the name which you have been given in this incarnation and say it to yourself. Say it softly to yourself, but say it out loud. Abide with the gentleness and the nuance of the vibrations. Now take that name, and say it with great force as you would mean it, as you are calling unto the heavens. Feel the power in the sound. Feel the expressive power of the vibration. Now, if you would like to play with an idea, play with a new sound or combination of sounds, which may be coming to you, a new sound which you may feel is more of your nature. You may feel that that name you have been given has been incorrectly heard. Before you came to utilize the vehicle of the body, all of you spoke unto your parents the name and the nature that you are. You whispered this unto them, and as they were open to hearing, they heard a name and they gave that to you. However, there were those of your parents who had an idea of what they wanted their child to be called, And even though they may have been whispering or even shouting unto them what your name and your nature and expression thereof was, they may or may not have heard it or not heard it in its completeness. You may choose what you want your name to be, how it would feel to you, how you would express the sound of the aspect of totality which you are focusing upon in what you see as this lifetime. You are a great ray of light. You are energy incarnate. You are a tone, a vibration, which is expressed in sound within the context of this plane of reality. Play with the idea of what your sound is, how it would be expressed. If you feel that the name which you have been given is too harsh, too short, too long, too soft, too whatever, choose what feels right for you. This is something which you may then give unto the world if you feel that you want to. Or it may be your own name which you keep just for yourself, your name which you use in the quiet time of your meditation. If the name you have been given by your parent feels correct, agreeable to you, you are home already. Play with the creative quality of your name. Add syllables, subtract syllables. Play with the vibrational expression. Speak it softly, caressingly. Speak it forcefully with all the power of your being. 
tone it over and over until you feel it one with the sound. As you do so, you will experience more of the unlimitedness of the expression of the Holy Child which you are. Be in joy.